move the entire folder, Travel Map Script, into Programs forward slash Adobe forward slash Adobe After Effects, your version, forward slash Support Files forward slash Scripts. If you're working on a Mac, move the folder into Applications forward slash Adobe After Effects, your version, forward slash Scripts. If you encounter any error messages when you run the script, please refer to the Script Alerts PDF file into the Documentation folder. The Travel Map script can only be used on the included Travel Map After Effects project. It won't work with new or different projects. So open up the right project and import your map. Now place it into the Your Map Image Here composition. It is recommended to use a large map. This will result in a better resolution when the camera zooms on the map. Scale down your map to fit it to the composition size and make sure you tick the 3D checkbox to turn your map into a 3D layer. Now run the script. The first thing that you need to do is choosing how many paths you want to use for your animation. In this example, we'll set three paths. Open the Path 1 composition. Select the layer called Draw Your Path Here and use the pen tool to create the path line. To get a better result, lines should be made as smooth as possible using the vertices handles because sharp angles create a sudden tracker rotation. Set the path duration and press the link forward slash update tracker to path. Check the animation. If you want to increase or decrease the path duration time, you need to press the update button again, thus making changes effective. If you want to modify the path, like we are doing in this example, press the Update button to relink the tracker to the modified path. The same operation would apply if you want to create a new path. In this case, please select the Draw Your Path Here layer and press the M key to show the mask. Select it and remove it. Now, draw the new path and press the Link button. Please note, do not for any reason delete the Draw Your Path Here layer, and do not create more than one mask on this layer. When you're done, open the Path 2 composition and draw the second path. Here you can see the ghost path of the previous tracker to see its behavior over time. Repeat the same operations for the third path. Open the Final Animation Composition. Click on the Camera tab and select which trackers the camera must follow. For example, if you just want to follow the third tracker, tick the number 3 checkbox and press the Confirm forward slash Update button. You can set the camera tilt using the corresponding slider. 
the script doesn't automatically adjust the camera zoom, so you need to do it using the zoom slider. When you change the value of this slider, the script creates a new keyframe on the Z position of the zoom control layer. If you'd rather animate and manage the camera zoom manually, you can simply create new keyframes and adjust them by changing the Z position property value. The Remove Zoom Animation button removes all keyframes on this property. Now, let's try to follow all trackers in the scene by selecting the three trackers and pressing the Confirm forward slash Update button. It looks like the camera is not following the trackers, but the problem is that the camera is too close to the ground, and as said before, the zoom value must be adjusted manually. So now, to see all the trackers, you should decrease the zoom level, and if you want, you can animate the zoom value to close or open the angle of view according to the tracker's position. The camera smoothness controls the fluidity of the camera movement. Depending on the path's shape or tracker's speed, the camera movement could accelerate or decelerate suddenly. If you increase the camera smoothness, the script will try to uniform the speed variations. But with a high smoothness value, the camera position could be a bit inaccurate. When you change this value, you need to recalculate the camera position. So press the confirm forward slash update button. If you prefer to manage the camera animation by yourself, you can use the Manual Camera layer, creating new keyframes on the positions and on X, Y, and Z rotation. Please note that, before using this procedure, you must switch the animation camera to Manual on the script. Another important thing to keep in mind is that if you modify the paths, it will be necessary to press the Update Camera button to recalculate the camera movement. Each path has its own tab in the script. If you want to access Path 2, you need to open the Path 2 tab, for Path 3, the Path 3 tab, and so on. Let's try to change the tracker on Path 1. Select a vehicle from the list and press the Use Tracker button. Adjust its size moving the corresponding slider or typing a value between 1 and 100 in the text field. You can also modify the vehicle color, pressing the color button. In the same tab, we have all controls to change the path appearance, like thickness, color, and style. Now, open the Path 2 and Path 3 tab and make all customizations required for the remaining trackers and paths. With Travel Map, you can stick a text, logo, or image to the side of the vehicles. Open the Vehicles Logo folder, then open one of the vehicle logos on Path 1, 2, 3, or 4 folders. 
Each of these four folders include the vehicles you can apply your logo on in that path. For example, if you want to place a logo on the van in path 1, you just need to open the composition called Van Logo into the folder Vehicles Logo on Path 1 and place your text or logo. Now, to add a logo on the truck in Path 2, you have to open the Vehicles Logo on Path 2 folder, then open the Truck Logo composition and import the same or a different logo. Switching from a tracker to another one is very simple. Let's assume that, after 3 seconds, you want to switch from the van to the airplane. Since the van is on Path 1, you should select the Path 1 tab on the script, move the time indicator to 3 seconds, then select the airplane and press the Switch Tracker button. You can switch the tracker more than one time along the way. But if you change your mind about a tracker you already set, keep in mind that all subsequent switch statements will be deleted and it will be necessary to recreate the switch to all other vehicles. So, for example, if you change your mind about your first switch and at 3 seconds you want to switch the tracker from the van to the car instead of the airplane, you need to move the time indicator to 3 seconds, select the car, and press the Switch Tracker button. To reset all switch statements and keep the same vehicle for the full path duration, Simply select the tracker that you want to use, and press the Use Tracker button. Obviously, if you want to switch the tracker also on other paths, you need to open the corresponding Path tab on the script window and repeat the same operations. You can add multiple pins and text informations on paths. To get a preview of the available pins, open the Pins Preview composition and take note of the pin that you want to use for your animation. Pins are placed on the current time indicator position. It means that if you want to place pin number 2 on path 1 in this tracker position, you just need to select the Path 1 tab, choose Pin 2 from the drop-down list, and press the On Current Time button. Two new layers have been added in the final composition, a text layer and a pin layer. You can treat the pin name layer like a normal text layer, so you can change its text, font, size, color, etc. You can also move it in the 3D space. For example, if you want to raise or lower it, you just need to move its Y position. As regards the pin object, you can scale it simply by changing its scale value. It is also possible to change the pin color. To do that, open the corresponding pin composition, select the Color Control layer, and modify the color properties. When you add a pin, the script places it exactly on the current position of the tracker. This causes an overlap of the pin with the tracker. To get around the problem, you can delay the pin and text reveal, simply selecting them and dragging them a few frames later. You can create or import a custom pin. Open the composition called Custom. Now, drag or import your pin. 
It must be placed above the red area that represents the floor. Now turn your pin to 3D. On the script, select Custom from the drop-down list and press the On Current Time button. Select the layer called Map Controls. In the Properties panel, you can see a list of controls. The first one allows you to choose whether to use the Follow Tracker camera or the Rotate Around Trackers mode. Choosing the Rotate Around Trackers mode, you can also set the rotation speed around the trackers. With the following controls, you can enable or disable the depth of field, enable the front blur, choose the blur amount, and set the focus area. Finally, with the background color, you can set the color of the background behind your map. In the next and last chapter, we'll find out how to simulate a seamless map. If you prefer to have a sort of infinite map without showing a colored background, just open the Your Map Image Here composition, select Your Map Image, and add the CC Repetile effect. Now increase the Expand Right, Left, Down, and Up values to 2500 or greater, and set the Tiling Mode to Unfold. Go back to the final animation, and now, as you can see, the map is extended. To make the map repetition less visible, it is advisable to enable the depth of field in order to blur the top area of the map.